let us quickly review some of the concepts that we have discussed in this session. We can use the Android Data Capture app to enter data from an Android device into DHIS2. In order to log in, we have to enter the server URL, the username, and the password. After we log in, we have to select the organization unit, the data set, and the period. This will allow us to proceed with the rest of the data entry process. After we select those three parameters, we can then enter our data. After we have entered our data, we can tap on Save. If we have an internet connection, this will send the data to DHIS2. We can check our notifications to ensure that this has been completed successfully. We can also enter data offline. If we lose both the Wi-Fi connection, as well as have no mobile data connection, we can still proceed to enter data offline on the Android device. We can still select our organization units, our data sets, and our period. We can then continue to enter our data. If we click on Save in this example, we can see that there is no notification that the data has been sent to DHIS2. This will only happen when the internet connection is restored. We just have to be mindful that we do not log out of the application if we are entering data offline. If we do log out, we will lose our data. Once we restore the internet connection, we will receive new notifications identifying that the data has been uploaded to DHIS2. This ends the session on using the Data Capture app to enter data into DHIS2. Please let us know if you have any questions about anything we've discussed in this demonstration. In the next demonstration, we will show you how you can bring data into DHIS2 using either a PDF file or by importing the data.